what's going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel another brand new video hope you all have a fantastic time celebrating christmas and santa was able to pay a visit as you can tell unfortunately i have drawn the short straw i am back in work on wednesday the day after boxing day you know something between christmas and new year that you never know what day is or time is or what to do but unfortunately i've given the short straw so i'm in work all day today or have the usual gap between and you can probably guess that i'd much rather be at home in bed rather than sat if you're hugging the heater again, get my body temperature dropped as soon as I got up this morning. Just fix that up there. I've got you propped up on a tub of pre workout with my camera lens cap underneath, so hopefully it stays still. But I have not trained for how long three days. I think the last session was an 11k run. I didn't train Christmas Eve, didn't train Christmas Day. I was going to train Boxing Day yesterday, but I'm just going to be bothered to spend time with, with Kelly and the family but speaking of kelly she has the whole week off and uh, she is going to join me today for some training hopefully we're going to train around one o'clock gonna get a i think an spd day and squat bench i lift i did buy her some weightlifting shoes she's going to try those out i'm not sure she's going to be on camera but we'll see she'll certainly be in the background she's not a fan of being on camera so we'll see how that that plays out but currently going to have usual cannonball coffee sip on that the iron bar espresso hopefully that's gonna keep me warm help me wake up i'm not used to the a start it's strange how he uses sort of adapter not getting up early just waking up at a, a normal time i'll say normal time actually getting some four nights of sleep so that's the the plan today finish i say coaching session no one's booked in until about half nine so i've got hour and a half two hours before someone comes in so I'm just gonna chill, maybe do a bit of online shopping, see what's available in the sales. Maybe get some high vis running stuff for my winter runs. Um, yeah, I think I'll just catch you all up when we train again, when we meet up with Kelly. also enjoy with that is a whiskey well i've never tried to combine the two i know a lot of people do irish coffees and all that and uh, fun fact whiskey spelt bells and e so w-h-i-s-k-y is i believe whiskey made in scotland canada and japan and anything with an e is made in like the us canada and abroad i think i'll put a little fact on the screen but the reason i bring that up is because kelly Put me a, a cool gift. I've been looking at these for a while. That is the Norland whiskey glass. Now it's actually already been used. So I'll get it out for you. And also, think, speaking of alcohol, I used to be someone who used to binge a lot. So I'd, if I was going out, I'd be out, 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 and I'd drink until I black out, which isn't good. And then I'm the complete opposite, almost teetotal when I go into fitness. And it's been the last few years that I've sort of relaxed that a bit and started to enjoy more. Hence. So all the whiskies and being the, the slower sipping drinks but it comes a little clean polishing cloth i'm not going to show you that first actually it's a pretty nice cloth i should have put this camera down shouldn't i oh, tell you what this Let's see if we can do this shall we hopefully the light from the tree should be enough i'll see from the tree i've realized the windows open behind Here's the lovely little polishing cloth with the Norland logo. I don't know if you can quite work that out. Can you see that there? I don't remember that. Very nice. That comes with it in its own little separate box. Butchering this, folding it back up. And then the glass itself, I'll take out the packaging. But here was the glass. Obviously, if the see through one, so you can actually see the whisker, you can get like a darker block that one. But this is very nice. As you can see, it's got the tasting curves in there that's just very nice i thought it was one of the ones that could balance as well but obviously it's not and to go with that it's going to be one of my favorite whiskies which i actually had for the first time at my brother's wedding last year in vegas and i sort of fell in love with it ever since i see whiskey i'm more of a i'd say bourbon whiskey just because it's a bit a little bit sweeter 
and you know me, I'm a fan of sweet things. I went for the, so I went for the, got me the Woodford Reserves. I can focus on that. So I can block out that light. There we are. Yeah, I've been having those. I'm not having now because I'm about to train, but oh, I may have one later on tonight when I'm back in from work. But yeah, just thought I'd share with you. That's probably one of the best gifts because I've been looking this for for well over a year and kind of. Yeah, very nice surprise opening that. But as for the rest of the time at home, I'm going to I think for the first time start editing this vlog. The first time I've ever filmed and edited in the same day, and then head back to the gym and hopefully meet Kelly there. If I can get this back in. So let's chill for a bit and then get back to the gym. Now I was waiting for Kelly to arrive, she's just on her way, we're in a little bit late. Um, I can finally figure out what I'm gonna do for today's session. Can't remember mentioned, but I think we're gonna do like an, an SPD session because normally I'd, I'd be benching today. Monday I would have done the lower strength session, Tuesday would have been the run, Wednesday would have been the third week of the slingshot bench. So I think I'm gonna do, I think two sets, two working sets of squats the bench workout and then two working sets. I think I still down from Friday. Well, that's not good, that's not nice at all. Two working sets of deadlifts because in two days time, I'm gonna be squatting again. So I don't want those to be too fatigued. So I was thinking of doing two sets, poor squats, two sets of regular at this week's weight, just so I'm still getting four sets, but it's even across both days. But I'm gonna take a bit of extra time to warm up and then oh, see how I'm feeling and then sort of decide then. I think bench is the fourth week, which will be the intense week, which I believe is around 85%. Week four, to two, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do that. So it should it should be a nice sort of quick session, depending on what I choose to do for the squats. So let's get warm and wait for Kelly to arrive. Hopefully it's not too long. So Kelly's arrived, but she can't be on screen for legal reasons. But show the show them, show them the shoes. There we are. Nice new lifting shoes there. And she's enjoying, liking them. You liking your new shoes? So I thought I was just getting ignored then. But we are at the, the, the top weight for today. It's, to be honest, it's not feeling great. But again, it's my own fault for doing absolutely nothing for three days. It's pretty much being sat on the sofa. But probably just gonna do two, two sets and then call it there. Cause I'm gonna be squatting again on Friday. Or maybe just one set, see how this first set goes. But great shoulders feeling dodgy. So it's a bit, of a, a bit more of a high bar today. So the quads are, not used to that, but it is where it is. Let's get these squats done and then we can move on to the fun stuff, which is bench and deadlift. You just one more set of go the rest of the set of goes. Speak it English. One more set of those and then that'll be it for squats. It's just feeling fast, I'm throwing this right shoulder. I don't wanna injure or make it worse. Just as Kelly breaks the squat rack. So we went to the upstairs toilet, middle of the night, like half two, put all the lights on. Then got himself stuck in the toilet. I mean I meant to rescue him. And then she Told him to open the door, go wash his hands downstairs. She goes downstairs, wash his hands and all that, and then, but he left all the lights on. 
so I had to get up and turn them all off. That was like half two in the morning, which wasn't great. So after those abysmal squats, bench isn't feeling much better. This right shoulder is just not paying long today, which I'll probably go to physio and get sorted and since Kelly's just had a go at me. <laughs> which to be fair, she's, she's right, I need, I need to get it fixed. I was seeing physio a while ago, but then I just got frustrated. It was, yeah, it is what it is. But weight today, one in five, which is 85% for three sets of two paused. It's moving okay, this is the first set. And then I think it's just two singles at 85%, so 115, we'll probably go 120 with the, with the slingshot. We're gonna have to get into this first set. Oh. Let's see, three sets of two. Three doubles. I don't know if it's because it's metal plates. Oh, but yeah, it just feels so much heavier than last week at Pure Gym. <laughs> oh, but two more sets and then slingshot and then deadlifts and then mince pie and hot chocolate time. Struggle city today. I'm just feeling meh. Those bench moves worse than the first set, I think. Just difficult, difficult, lemon difficult and all that. But give it a 124. Two singles, then maybe I'm up. Rather than just three singles, just to feel like I've done something today. <laughs> Ready to save me? Yep. Good. Thanks for having my back. <laughs> Got that on camera, she doesn't care. And that is bench done. I decided not to go for the AMRAP because I'm just not feeling it today. Don't think I've eaten enough over the last few days, which is surprising since it's been Christmas and boxing. The house is just full of everything. But definitely time to eat over the next couple of days and maybe sort of repeat this week, next week. We'll see. Just, you gotta make sure I eat. And then, last thing, when I, when I don't train, I just don't get hungry or don't feel the need to eat, which is counterproductive for when I train again. I feel like I got no energy and then beat myself up and then just repeat that cycle for forever. But let's quickly get warmed up for this. I think I'll just do one top set of deadlift. So 147.5 for six and then call it there. Maybe squeeze in some curls. Cause you know, curls are good for you. Grip is painful still. Yeah, top set 147.5, six. Gonna cut it there. Just want to do some accessory work. Because my body's telling me just to take it easy. Even though I've had plenty of sleep, but not enough food, so I'm just not got the energy today. But hopefully, a couple of days of good eating. Maybe bring out intensity for Friday session. Yeah, well, I think just some rows and curls, I think. Decided to do two stones, one bird here, and go for some bird dog rows, which hit the back and core, so that posterior sling. So basically, get into a bird dog position on a bench. One leg goes back, opposite arm takes the weight, and rows. And I'll be really careful because I had a few clients face plant because he thought it was, thought the weight was very light, so they take it off and just go. It's going to be nice as they will start with the, start with the left hand side. Left leg goes back, 
Heb je het ook zoiets geluk? Af. Straight enough for the next, I haven't usual post where I got hot chocolate. I've got a mince pie there, one of the cost ones, but I'm going to say the last I've got a, also got a chicken sandwich. Uh, one thing I did find that was very disgusting, Joy always traded my Vanquish hoodies with the, with the pockets. I've got the like maroon one and the grey one. I didn't wonder where the maroon was, and when I went into the change room to get changed, I did find this very still rather damp jumper in a crumple in the corner. And it's, doesn't doesn't smell the freshest it's been there since when was I last in? I think Friday, so what? What Wednesday late? Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, Saturday. So yeah, get on for five days, being sat there in a heap and still being damp. That is disgusting. I might just have to chuck it out, to be honest. Or put it through several washes. But yeah, that was a, a very frustrating session. Everything just felt difficult and just I just feel like I'm too hard on myself at times for no particular reason. I'll just, just hold myself, like I said before, to a, a high standard in training. I want to I wanna do well in training, make progressions each week. But yeah, it is what it is. It's my own fault for, I say, taking three days off. I'll put you over there, it's a bit easier. I'm doing absolutely nothing. I just find, like I said before, when I'm not training, I don't tend to eat. And obviously when you don't eat, you don't consume calories, so you haven't got energy to exert in the gym. So I'm going to have just a hot chocolate, mince pie, got a chicken, got a turkey, cranberry sandwich under the camera. It's still got leftover Christmas dinner. So I'm going to be having that for a couple of days at least. I'd be had two turkeys on the day, so I've got loads of leftovers. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a nice train with Kelly. She's obviously gone now. She left just before I finished that. She had to shoot off and didn't want to be here when people arrived. But yeah, there's only a couple of sessions people have been and gone. I'm just going by myself, so I've got a bit of time to sit and enjoy this. So if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new, hit subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one, which will be training on a little trip over to Wales to see some friends. Hopefully, they'll let me vlog and hopefully, I've got the confidence to vlog with them there. So we shall see. I've got some some plans for next year, but I'll talk about that in a future video. Maybe the next one or the one after. Whichever one I decide to make. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.